In this video, I'm going to cover the step of transfer, not only the physical movement of the step, but how to mentally transfer it as well. For those of you that are new here, my name is Jay Kaminsky. I'm a two-time Olympic silver medalist in the sport of archery, and today I'm going to be talking to you specifically about the transfer step. Not only is it a physical step, but it is actually a mental step, and probably more importantly, a mental step above all else. So in this video, I am going to explain to you the full detail of the step of transfer, Everything up until this point has been covered within the KSL shot cycle or the best method or the NTS system. Um, everything is covered also in this book called Total Archery by Coach Lee and Tyler Benner, who was a teammate of mine at the training center, um, probably through the like 2006 to 2008 season, give or take. Uh, but it has every little step, lots and lots of little details. It's a great resource outside of these videos, of course, or your local coach. I'll put a link in the description below where you can find this book on Amazon. It is definitely worth its weight in gold because it has so many steps and so much information like how to put your hand in the bow. I showed you how to do it in a video, but some of this can take it to the next step in detail. You're watching the Jay Kaminsky YouTube channel. Hey, a quick update before we get into the video today. I have two quick announcements. I have started a Patreon account as well as a place that you can buy apparel that I've designed. Uh, it's through a company called Teespring. I will post links to both the Patreon account and the Teespring account in the video description. You know, I've had a fair amount of people asking to have the ability to support this channel other than just watching it, liking it, and sharing it. So I decided to create the Patreon account and offer some exclusive benefits to the Patreon platform. The funds raised from those two places will help me buy better equipment to make the video quality better, as well as give you guys more time and more information, spend more time to reply to more comments and questions, and ultimately just bring more value to this channel for the archery community at large. So now that that's over with, we'll get back into the video. Thanks for your time. All right, so I said that this is not only a physical step, but a mental step. We'll cover the physical stuff first. So it's very simple. Everything that we've done up until this point is setting the momentum, the direction that we are going to continue to keep moving, which is angular. It's around and behind us. When we use big angular motion this way, you can see that I'm using my torso to continue to rotate and that's how I'm pulling the bow back. I'm not pulling the bow back with my hands because that would be weak. It's much stronger to use big muscles and then ultimately bones to hold the bow back. So transfer is just the same movement. All we do is after we get to full draw and we come in, we will then transfer. It's just adding a little bit more pressure. If you take the spot of land two, remember we talked about how there is a medical spot called land one, and this is Coach Lee's land two. You just take land two and move it parallel to the shooting line directly behind you. So this is anchor and transfer is like this. It's moving land two more that way. That's a bit exaggerated. It's a very small movement. It's very slow and controlled. It's not as slow as you would expand, but it is much slower than the speed that you would pull the bow back. I'll put a video uh, right now that I used in the last step for anchor, um, but you'll be able to see or not see my transfer. So as I come into full draw and I anchor, and then I go into transfer, you can't really see movement happen. The reason that this is, is because everything that I've done up until that step, that moment, I've tried to get as close to being at 100% of my back tension already. So this is kind of something that Coach Lee called as stepping on the chair physically. And you know he would say, if you've transferred, you have stepped on the chair, you are ready to shoot. The only time you can shoot is when you are on top of the chair. A lot of that has to do with a mental step, which we're gonna get into really quick. But physically, I kind of want to show you what he means by that. I'm gonna go get a chair right now. Okay, so I have my chair over here, and the whole idea is when I'm transferred, this is where I'm going to be. I'm on the chair when I transfer, okay? So that means I'm ready to shoot. I am as much in my back, I have as much back tension as I could possibly have. 
you know, there's kind of a rule of thumb of a ratio. You want to try to be 90% in your back, 10% in your hands. Um, kind of the goal. But the whole idea is if I'm in set, I'm far away from the chair. But if I set with my hand outside of the arrow line, with my elbow behind the arrow line, I've already got less hand tension than back tension. So I'm already fairly close to the chair. And then as I lift and rotate into set position and I set the barrel of the gun, I'm closer to the chair. As I load powerfully with my back, I'm even closer. So that way when I'm ready to transfer, it's a simple step onto the chair, okay? So if I did not do correct steps beforehand, I set up like this, which is correct, but then as I pull, pick up, I follow the brace height forward, which I'm breaking my barrel of the gun, I don't have the alignment, and I'm not using my back, I'm not close to the chair. And if I pull back linearly and I anchor, I'm still a far away from the chair, right? But if I were to try to transfer from here, it's a much more difficult step to make physically to step onto the chair. So the whole point is to try to get into your back, more into your back, and then that last little movement is just a very finite movement. It's not a transfer. It's not a big movement. It's very slow, very controlled, and all you're doing is adding just a little bit more back tension to the equation. The whole goal of transfer is just to make sure you are essentially 100% ready to shoot. So physically, all you're doing is moving your back just a touch more. So like I, sh like I said in that video that I overlaid and I'll overlay it again right now, during the transfer step, you really don't see a whole lot of movement. It is almost invisible. The next physical step within transfer is aiming. Notice how from this point previous, I have never said anything about aiming other than don't aim yet. It doesn't happen until transfer or after transfer. It basically happens towards the tail end of transfer. Transfer takes time. Remember during the rhythm and timing portion that I talked about earlier, which I'll put a link in the, or the link up here, is um, it's one, two, three. One is load, two is transfer, or two is anchor, three is transfer. So it's one, two, three. Three takes time because you're slowly transferring. It's not a one, two, three, it's one, two. And then as I go to two, I'm already starting to make that movement. And when I say three, that's the end of transfer, not the middle point or the start of transfer. It's one, two, three. Now I'm ready. Okay, so at that point, I am aiming now. So I'll do another video about how I aim specific to indoors and outdoors because it is different. Um, but uh, we're not going to worry about that just yet. But it, what's important is you don't aim until you've transferred. The whole point of that I've already explained during rhythm and timing. Um, again, quick recap is just because the brain cannot focus on something for more than a given time, which is roughly three seconds on average per human being. So if we're aiming, we don't want to start aiming earlier in the cycle because that would take, that would mean eight seconds until the clicker clicks as opposed to now there's this tiny little window of we've transferred expansion release happens within two to three seconds. That's the whole point of it. Quick recap. So other than those two steps, physical steps, there is a lot of mental things. A lot more mental things happen within transfer. There is still the physical intensity that does come down um, that I've already described in the intensity, intensity shot cycle. I'll put another link up here. Um, that is going to happen more because of the mental step that you are going to make. So mentally, when we are transferring, I want you to imagine shifting gears in a car. You can imagine this quite easily. Imagine doing 30 miles an hour, 30K, whatever you wanna call it, down the road, you're in first gear, you're basically redlined. The RPMs are screaming, right? The car's not very happy. But what I want you to imagine is first gear is, is getting in set position, starting to move into setup. So I'm moving quickly, right? And then as I go to set up position, I drop it into second gear. So the car starts to calm down a bit. As I start pulling back and I get to load into that locking position, I've dropped it into third. As I come into anchor, I've dropped it into fourth. And then when I transfer, it's 
overdrive. So it's the car is extremely low RPM, very calm, very quiet, right? So I could illustrate that kind of by saying, mm -hmm. so when I transfer, you want to be as calm as possible. You want everything to mentally slow down. Try to feel yourself drop it into overdrive and calm down. So not only do you have to mentally try to lower your intensity level, but you also are now committing to the shot. I like to say it's like taking the safety off of the rifle before you start squeezing the trigger, before you start executing or expanding. It's very similar. Up until this point, you do not fire if the clicker clicks. You are in control. You have to control the shot cycle. The clicker does not control you. You control the clicker, okay? So when you transfer, you are finally taking that safety off and you are ready to start executing, okay? But you do not execute until you take that safety off because otherwise the pin won't drop. Another mental thing within transfer is that commitment to the shot. Not just the readiness, taking the safety off, but that commitment. When you transfer, you have to mentally commit to finish. You have to finish, hit that C spot, hit that, that finish position. So to some C spot up, A is here, okay, in set position. B is transfer. C is your finish, wherever your finish is. Not your release. I didn't say about release. I didn't say click or click. I said finish. When you transfer, you're committed to ending the shot, not committing to set the shot off. We'll go into a lot more detail with that in another video in the future. But what's most important right now is when you transfer, you have to take that mental safety off. You have to calm down and you have to commit to finish the shot at that point. Now, committing to finishing the shot happens no matter what is happening, no matter how loud the crowd is, no matter how loud your buddies are laughing behind you. No matter how hard it's pouring rain, no matter how much your eyes sting from the sweat being in your eyes, no matter how windy it is, doesn't matter. By that time, you have, should have already picked the spot that you're aiming at due to wind drift, and you have to commit. You have to finish the shot no matter what. So transfer really is mostly a mental thing. Now, I didn't say anything about holding, okay, because many people will say, well, what about the step of holding? The step of holding does not happen until you transfer. You have to transfer first. And then holding is just kind of a th arbitrary thing that Coach Lee came up with. You are not actually holding. You don't stop moving in space physically. There is a lull there. Everything slows down to an almost stop because you are mentally going through the checklist of making sure you feel like you have the same tension in your back and the same areas. Make sure that you've mentally taken the safety off. Make sure that you've mentally committed to the shot. Make sure that your RPMs are lower. Everything. There's a lot of mental things that happen there, but physically you do not stop moving at transfer. There is no holding in the sense of stop moving and actually hold still. Holding is just a arbitrary term that Coach Lee came up with by saying you don't shoot unless you are you have taken the step of holding, which is transfer, which is stepping on the chair, which is committing to the shot. So all of those factors lead up to holding and you don't execute until you've achieved holding. The last physical thing that you may feel after you transfer is like you are being braced inside of the bow. So the whole idea within alignment, the way that Coach Lee describes, is to feel like you are inside the bow. So meaning you want to feel like when you're at full draw, like you're trying to resist walls coming in at you by stacking your bones together. If you can do that, chances are you have a hope at holding those walls back. But if you're just using muscles, they're gonna overpower you. So the whole idea when you get into transfer is to really just make sure you are committed to fully feeling like you're bracing the bow with your bones stacked together as I've described before. So transfer is by far and above the most important step when it comes to this shot cycle. It happens deliberately at its time where the aiming starts when you should be at your calmest and when your brain should be at its clearest. So all of the things that happened before that, all of the 5 million steps that we did up until this point, 
you have to clear that from your mind. You have to clear all of the stress of the tournament, all of the pressure, all of the money, all of the fame, all of the whatever you want to call it. You have to put that behind you, clear your mind, commit to the shot, and then execute. That's the whole point of transfer is to just start from scratch, clean the slate, and then finish the shot. So a quick recap when it comes to transfer is that it's mostly a mental step. You want to try to calm down as much as possible. You're taking the safety off. You are ready to fully commit to finishing. The physical step is taking land two, which is the back side of your arm right here. And when you transfer, it moves parallel to the shooting line behind you. It looks like it hinges around and in, and everything will get tighter. So as you transfer, your anchor inward is going to get tighter. You do not want to lose all of your arm tension. You have to have some bicep tension. I'm going to talk more about that in another video too, but it's that physical step is moving around and behind you. At that time, you're starting to aim and then all of the mental stuff that we've already covered. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. Be sure to head to jkaminski.com for all the books and apparel that I have available. And thank you to my Patreon supporters as well. Take care and have a good one.